Hey, good afternoon, everyone. Gary B, the casual comic guy here. Hope everyone's doing okay today. Um, got my Black Friday box heroes box in finally, so we're gonna take a look at that and see what I got. I have a decent idea what some are because I've watched some other opening, so I'm expecting a King in Black, at least one copy of that, and um, we'll see what else we have. Um, and I also got just a quick mail call here. Is I got my Jamie uh, Pine doll. Uh, Virgin variant red Sony number one cover so just waiting for that to come in really happy to have it so there's that and then oh and I forgot my blade I'm already already being a rookie mm -hmm. okay I have no idea where I set my blade, so we're using this one. <laughs> ah, preparation's hard, guys. Right, Taylor? Just when you think you have everything, you, you don't have everything. All right, let's take a look. All right, so I don't know why they sent you two. Oh, let me see. They got to be different. Yeah, a little bit. Okay. Nothing major. We all know what those say. All right, so let's take a look at my books. <clears throat> All right, the return of Dr. Phosphorus. All right, Batman Detective Comics 825. All right, well, my buddy uh, Jason will love this cover. That's actually a great cover. I like that cover too, but this is going to go to Jason. It's going to go right in his box. So, it's the okay box. We got the new Avengers Illuminati 3 of 5. That is a pretty nice cover there. Okay, The Amazing Spider-Man 526, The Other, Evolve or Die. Eh, nothing too special with that one. Ooh. Alright, I've been liking this lately. I've been getting some Conans in my uh, boxes. And this is an issue I love. And this is way better shape than mine. This one's in near mint. Mine, mine has seen a little love. This is uh, one of my all-time favorite Conan the Barbarian issues. Conan the Barbarian number 68 with uh, King Call in it. All right. And also, uh, this is with um, Red Sony and Bela are in this issue as well. It's one of my all-time favorite issues. And to have it in this condition, I'm really, really happy with that. All right. <clears throat> the Punisher issue 44, Star Spangled Burner. All right. Another book for Jason there. He's got a Batman and a Punisher in here. All right, the Uncanny X-Men 187. And this is a cool cover. Right there. Looks like the Dire Wraith right there, so I got to check that out. I'm a big ROM fan. I'm not sure if that's a Dire Wraith, but it looks like a Dire Wraith. This is an issue I'm not familiar with, but a cool cover. Alright, okay, we got our die cut goodness with saber tooth number one. Wow, that is uh, that is near mint. Alright, not a terribly expensive book, but a nice one to have in your PC. Okay, I got, uh, ooh, I got, a, I got almost a drop book. Alright, no notes on any of this, so I don't have anything with notes. So, Venom, um, Venom 30. Venom Beyond, Part 5, so just a regular it looks like. No variant. Oh, I'm not a Venom guy, so this will go to somebody else too. Or maybe I'll save it for a future um, contest giveaway when I hit the 300 subs. Alright, then we have Deadpool Max. Explicit content, mm -hmm -hmm, number 11. Alright. Not a Deadpool guy either. Love the movies, but not a big fan of the books. And of course, uh, the King in Black variant edition. So, uh, Torn Clark spoiler variant. So there we go. And that was uh, the Black Friday box Heroes box. Uh, overall, not a great box for me. Um, I like box Heroes, but... Uh, I liked a few books in here, but 
All right, uh, King and Black I didn't have. It's a cool cover to have. Um, Deadpool will go in a giveaway. Venom will go in a giveaway. I know, guys. Everybody loves Venom but me. Uh, I think he's overblown and actually kind of boring. Uh, the Sabretooth is nice. I'm not a big Sabretooth guy, but this is a nice book to have, so I'll keep that in the PC. I'll keep the Uncanny X-Men in the PC. I like that cover, and having the X-Men is always good. Uh, Punisher will go to Jason. Conan is mine. Gary doesn't give away Conan. Um, this Amazing Spider-Man, I don't know anything about it. I'll look it up, see if it's worth anything. I doubt it. It's part 6 of 12. And um, it doesn't look like it's anything too, too special. Uh, the New Avengers Illuminati. Uh, I'm kind of the same mind of Taylor Winder with this. It's a five-issue miniseries, and you gave me issue three in the middle. And am I really going to go find the other four? Maybe not. We'll see. It's a nice cover, though. And then, of course, Batman Detective Comics, which will go to Jason. Um, so I got four books out of this I'll keep in my PC. Hey, was it a bad box? No, I just didn't get a lot in it that um, pertains to my personal collecting, so I'm definitely not going to bang on the box. Um, I think I got my money out of it. It's just, uh, you know, the chance you take when you do mystery boxes. You don't always end up with a bunch of stuff you like or that you put in your PC, and that's just part of it. But what I did get is some nice books that I can pass on to somebody else, and there's something to be said for that too, right? Yeah. Um, my day's made with four books I'll keep, and I get to make some other people's books with some other book. With some, some other people's yeah, day with some other books, so not too bad. Um, an alright box. I was hoping for more um, old goodness, but they've kind of moved away from that. This box wasn't bad with it, and um, uh, I'll give this box a 6.5 out of 10, but... Um, not bad. I, I really am impressed with this uh, Conan the Barbarian number 68, though. This is the cleanest copy of this issue I've seen. And I've looked for this, and I've bought this issue a few times. I have not found one this clean yet. So, this alone is really making the box for me. And the same with this Uncanny X-Men 187. Because I actually looked at this the other day and almost bought it. But it wasn't, it had some, had a few uh, color breaks and, and ticks. And I was like, <sighs> but this one, again, this one... There's no ticks. It looks like it's never been read. So, and honestly, that's one of the things I really love about uh, Box Heroes. Is that I don't think I've really gotten a bad book out of them that you know condition-wise that was bad. So, again, even this this is an old book now. You know, Sabretooth number one. There's nothing wrong with it. it. Looks like it's never been opened. So perfect perfect condition. That's a near mint copy. And um, but yeah, all right. So I not bad. Maybe we'll, we'll bump it up to a 7 out of 10 upon further examination. I don't want to rate them too harsh because there's some books in here I don't collect, which isn't their fault. You can't please every customer you're sending hundreds of boxes out to. But um, that was my Box Heroes Black Friday box, guys. So just wanted to get that done real quick. I hope everyone's having a great week leading up to Christmas. And until next time, guys, be good. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. And keep it casual.